Hello, welcome to Map to Love. This is your twin flame soulmate divine partner check in the week of March 16th or whenever you're listening to this. So, happy St. Patrick's Day, springtime love, a new spark. What's changing or coming in? Let's dive in with the energy of the union right now with you and your sacred lover. Opportunity. When your eyes are open wide, opportunities you never thought possible will manifest. Wow. That's pretty powerful to open up with. Feels like there's a golden opportunity. There's an opportunity coming right your way for this connection. The energy is there's opportunity. Wow, I like that. Let's see what else. Opportunity. So by holding your vision of what's highest and best, right, for yourself and everyone else involved, your sacred lover, I feel that spirit's blessing you with some kind of manifestation of an opportunity when your eyes are open wide, when you can really see the truth, when you're able to see the, the, the truth about yourself and the truth about your divine mirror and the truth about this situation, opportunity will open up. But it's something about needing to see the truth, opening your eyes. Oh, and I feel like, you, your person, you're opening your eyes to the beauty that's all around you, the beauty of this connection, no matter what um, part it's, you know, part of the journey you're on. Beauty is unveiled by the lustrous light within, yeah, by you connecting to the light. See how the opportunity, this connection is giving you and has given you the opportunity to see the light, the opportunity to see the beauty and all of the lessons that you've learned and all of the things that you've overcome because of this connection. And to tap into your inner light and really allow that to shine out to the world. This is what this connection has done for you. So being grateful for that and seeing the truth in that will bring you the opportunity you've been wanting to manifest. Yeah, and look at the bottom. You're in control of the choices set before you. Yeah. Wow, this is really cool. Spirit's just really saying, listen, good. you guys have free will. So we have to consider that. We can control what we do and how we react and the choices we make, but we cannot control our lover. We cannot control anybody else, right? And there's beauty in that because it, it takes the burdens away because you're, all you can do is be the best version of yourself. Make the highest and best choices that you can make. Live your life with integrity. Shine that gorgeous light and that love out to the world. And take opportunities that come to you that feel good to you, right? Trusting your intuition. So you're in control of the choices set before you. So it's your choice to see the beauty in it or you can focus on the dark of it. You know, it's your choice. That's the spirit saying. How does your person of interest, your sacred lover, view this connection right now, like in the head and the heart. That's what we're gonna look at. How are they viewing it and you and this connection in general? Looks like victory to me. Public recognition, victory, success. So your person is viewing this as a success, as something to celebrate. some kind of achievement, very balanced and passionate. So this is how your person is viewing the connection. Yeah, and instead of, look at that, look at that. Okay, I just wanna show you, okay. So look at this victory card with the, you know, with the burning wand, right, the torch. And then you have this opportunity that looks like the same energy as fire, right? Golden opportunity, a creative opportunity, something you love. And then look at this. It's like working together to get this going, making the choice instead of, because the five of wands can be competition, uh, fighting, drama, gossip, right? But the, not in this card. That's what your person is saying to you. I, I see victory in us working together. I realize that we're both actually reaching for the same thing. We might go about it in different ways, but we're reaching for the same thing. So we're, we want to understand sacred union. We want to enjoy divine love, right? Reaching for the stars, reaching for your destiny. So why don't we do it together? So this is like, they feel like they can work together with you on this somehow, that you can find victory somehow. 
instead of working against one another, working together. Like, I really feel that. Yeah, and look, because you or them, you know, maybe perhaps you, you might be feeling like you were left in the dark, like other people just left you out to dry, like, or even this person, right? It just felt like that. But really, this person's thinking, I don't want you to feel this way. Can you just take that key and open up the door to, to uh, balance? Can we change things here? Like, let go of the regret. You have this beautiful opportunity to learn from this and rise up. Let go of any lack or poverty mindset. That's what this connection is doing for you. That's what Spirit's saying. We have hard times, right? There's contrast, challenge, competition with the fives. But we always have opportunity to look at the beauty in it and learn the lessons and find victory. And I feel like that's what your person is saying. We can find victory here. I don't want you to have sleepless nights. I'm tired of having anxiety about this. Look at the white bird. I want to bring peace into this and, and realizing that you can choose peace if you want to. You can choose the dark and the fear and the anxieties and the worry, the false realities that live in your head. Or you can choose peace. That's what Spirit's saying. It's your choice. You see that? So your person is saying, I'm working on ending this cycle to find victory and go towards my destiny. That's what I felt. Ten of Pentacles is having it all. There's some kind of opportunity to make a choice to have it all. To be, to be famous, to be publicly recognized. And whether your person is with you in the physical or not, they want you to find your success. They want you to step out in the spotlight and find victory here. They don't want you to feel like you're left in the dark. They would really truly like you to see the beauty in this, that it was about growth and expansion with that nine spiritual lessons. And then the light comes in, the dove of peace, the bird of peace, and clears away all the false reality. And you rise up and you work together and, you're in, and you find victory. So you're finding some kind of victory or they view you as someone as having it all. Like maybe you already are famous. You have it all. Like you're, you have everything put together like a good team. And like they can see value in that. Do you see? I can see that as we mature that we would be a good match. That as we move forward, you know, we'd be really good with kids. And like maybe that's something with the dog loyalty. There's a lot of loyalty there. But it's they, they view this connection as something that could have it all. Like family, building a legacy, right? But there is some kind of, it's either you or your person like kind of a little bit anxious and stuck in this past energy. But really wanting to find victory and work together here. Um, what about in the heart space? Well, it's interesting. Let me know how that resonates with you. Oh, yeah, in the heart space, I feel unity. Yeah, I, I feel like this could work. That's what I keep hearing. I feel like this could work if we both make the highest and best choices, if we work together here, if we hold hands through the next part no matter what. Because you see in this card, this is so sweet. It's like your inner child or you have children or whatever. It's almost like the child within your child is wanting you to come together like I'm reaching for mommy's hand and I'm reaching for daddy's hand or whatever however this works and I'm bringing I want you guys to hold hands wow that is beautiful and there is a two of cups so this balance this opportunity to make the choice to heal because that's a lot of healing energy yeah and there's a new path a new way, traveling, relocating with this car and this globe. The two of wands to me represents twin flame, soulmate, divine partner, like having a talk, which direction do we want to go? And it's like, here's the new path. You're like seeing the light. So your person is seeing that this is a new path, that we can maybe do something new here. We can start something new together. Yeah, look at that. Very clear. In the heart space, this, you, this person, maybe perhaps the masculine, very clear grown in wisdom, mastering that mental energy, that regrets, the anxiety, the worries, the fears that are false reality, mastering that because this is mastership. And may view you as of mastered your mental energy. So really working to rise up to that and, and thinking about communication. I mean, not quite opening the mouth, but very wise, thoughtful, more thoughtful now. Because he looks thoughtful in this picture too. Like, oh, I really see you. I really see the beauty in this. And sometimes we don't have to say anything at all. I can just smile at you. And I, and I know that this is it. 
I know that this is the new beginning. I know that I want this, the rom romance of a lifetime, a new spark an offer and love coming in for you like that's what the that's i feel like that's what the masculine is thinking about so is the feminine like i i this is what i want i want to focus on the love i want to talk about this love i don't want to feel this way um i'm not going to allow myself to stay here so let's find victory here let's do this together and have this new beginning and there's something about each one of you the, the flow of this connection. If you haven't done it yet, you have opportunity now, or perhaps you've already taken the opportunity to fill your own cup. That's a big part of this connection. Each one of you had to realize that self-love is the key to you know pretty much everything. In order to have a balanced connection with someone else, you've got to love yourself, believe in yourself, find victory in self. And then you work together with others that are of like mind. You see that? She's wearing the white balls. They're all wearing white shirts. That's divinity. That's pure intentions. But because you and them, you, your person, have experienced this feeling of being left in the dark and being left out in the cold and just not really sure what was happening in their life, this energy, having this the, the more dramatic version of the Five of Wands, it was difficult to kind of make it come together right away, I feel. But like both of you loving yourself and opening up to this love for this new beginning. I mean, it's really beautiful. But it's all about your own cup and trusting your intuition. And I feel like your person is saying, if for some reason you're in separation or you're kind of waiting, don't wait around for me. Just go live life. Like I'm always walking with you. Don't ever doubt that. Even if you're going on a new path alone, I'm always thinking of you. And one day... <laughs> We will get this opportunity, but don't hold back. Step out into the spotlight here. Yeah, your person really working to release regrets and wants you to do the same. Like, just release the past. Let it go. Let it finally go. And look, there's the cup. And look how beautiful and full and colorful this cup is. Sprinkled with divine light spirit, right? So it's just this final release. And with the 555, expect the unexpected. There's a lot of change here. There's some kind of communication for these new beginnings, and it's going to bring balance. Like where maybe before you thought, gosh, is this really the path? Or I don't know what my path is. It's going to be revealed to you. And so it's really important to just see this as you rising up here and your person saying, let's just release the past finally. And it's the final release. I mean, the card is depicting it. So perhaps your person or both of you, it feels like, have kind of been reminiscing and thinking about what have I learned from the past? How can I do things differently myself? What do I want? What are my boundaries? Like just all of those things so that when you come together, there's this higher mind perspective, this wisdom that comes with all the growth. And it's finally realizing that. Oh, I, I really love it. Oh, come on. And at the bottom, like, what are they thinking about? Like, what's the energy of this in their head and heart? Look at that. Head over heart decision, to, you know, healing the lovers. I want to come together. I want to heal. There's balance coming to this. And understanding, a deeper understanding of what this is really about and what it's really meant to be in this, in this physical world. Getting the clarity of that. Sometimes our connections, they, you know, people do, you know, cross over when they're on the other side or it's just this energetic spiritual connection and it's finally getting the clarity on what this really means what sacred love really really is and it's, it's this beautiful coming together it's like the same two of cups it looks like you know maybe similar hands there and just two people coming together possibly from two different worlds but just are the perfect match i mean that's what i feel from this it's just like no matter what the space and time is you're always together i mean look at that energy this is sacred union. That's so beautiful. So feel into that. And right under that is manifestation. So this is what your person's focused on manifesting. Releasing and then manifesting new beginnings. So might be being a little secretive about it. Like you might not know. They're really working on new beginnings and healing. And, and this, you know, I mean, it's really beautiful energy, right? Really beautiful energy. And what's spirit's um, advice for you right now? 
Spirit, if you have advice for who's ever listening, whenever they're listening to this, advice for this journey right now. Any advice? Make sure you're healed. Go within. Spend a little time alone. Release, heal, and then hold your vision for the life that you know you deserve and come out of the cave and shine that light. Like almost like calling your lover home by shining that gorgeous light. Wow. Talk about holding your vision and you're meant to be a star that I felt from the very beginning. It's written in the stars. This is your destiny, healing, alignment. Wow. And the 17 being an eight, you're manifesting this. You're being heavily led by spirit. So trust your light, trust spirit, trust where your heart is guiding you. That's what spirit wants you to do. This is your destiny. Follow the North Star home. And this is like you, divine feminine, shining your light and you're calling your lover home. Like it's like you're harnessing this unconditional love. You're taking this, look at that. It's like the opportunity coming from the stars. You cannot make this up. This is incredible. Please share this. Please like it. Please get it circulated. This is really beautiful energy. Like just harnessing all that love and light in your destiny and bringing it right to you. <laughs> wow. Anything else, spirit? I mean, wow. And what's meant for you will be for you. Trust that. Yeah, there's balance coming in. That's the choice. You had, you had again, we're, we're ending with spirit's advice is it's your choice. Find your balance. Balance all that you know spiritually, right? All that you know with your higher mind perspective, all this wisdom that you've gained on this journey. Balance it with your material world, your physical world. Bring that wisdom in. Center it in your heart space. Get grounded in it with this darker black energy and this red energy. Earth star chakra, root chakra, sacral chakra, and crown. Balancing all that energy and moving towards what your heart and soul desires. It's the path. So Spirit's saying the path is opening. The balance is coming. So focus on healing because the star card and the hermit are both healing and find that peace and find that balance. Yeah, get the higher mind perspective. Just hang out a little bit. Have fun in your own energy, learning new things, growing, expanding yourself, right? Have, have fun. Go out and have some fun. That's okay. You're allowed to do that, right? It's time to leave the emotions of the past, the attachments of the past. Go on this new quest, this new spiritual journey. The sun is rising up and giving you the clarity you need. And this is the path. That's what spirit, it's keep, it keeps like reminding you about the path. Anything else? No message. Yeah, just focus on your light. Look at that. Delighting in spiritual growth, the magic within, making good decisions, queen of wands, shining that gorgeous, sexy light, being independent, f focusing on the magic. I mean, it's just delightful times are coming. I mean, I really feel that delightful times, victory, success, fame, fortune, like just <laughs> growing so much spiritually and, and realizing that you have the power. I mean, it's just beautiful. So you have the power to see the beauty and I feel like you are. You are seeing the beauty. You're starting to. And just a few of these fairy messages to what may be manifesting, what to look out for on your path right now. Okay, look at five of wands, five of spring. Opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. So spirit saying, listen, if you feel this way around people, they're not your right vibrational match. Like if you're always opposing and you're, it's always a struggle, let go of these kind of connections. Change things yourself. Perhaps maybe just listening to them and trying to see the higher mind perspective they might have, even though it's different than you, that can help too. Being the bigger person, you know, kind of a thing. Look at that. Magician, magician, manifestation. Spirit saying you're manifesting this. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. Oh my gosh, victory and success, delighting and success, dreams coming true, you are a star. So spirit saying, listen, don't let anyone else hold you back. Don't get all up in your head like there's other people that are gonna compete against you because you're gonna shine above all the rest. 
That's what Spirit's saying. You're shining above all the rest. So use this energy wisely for yourself right now. And believe in yourself. Yeah, overcoming fears. This is the fears that pop up. The moon card. Illusions, right? Powerful intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear. Understanding the truth of a situation. Yeah, you're getting clarity. You're getting the truth. And you're manifesting new beginnings. Trust your intuition here because it's very strong. Look at that. And then the fool. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. Yeah. New fresh energy. It's gorgeous. Just this new fresh start. That's what Spirit's saying. Just It's time for that. It's time for a new fresh start. Wow. The hanged man again. Look at all these major cards that are coming out. The lovers. The hanged man twice. The magician twice. The star card. The moon, the fool. I mean, wow, you guys. This is a lot of major change and shifts and grand awakening. Feminines, as you're hanging out and you're just learning and growing and, and being good in your own energy and just, you know, really expanding and trusting, look at the masculine. Going through a grand awakening, finding the yin-yang balance. Change the way you're looking at the situation. Yeah, just a little shift in perception. See the beauty in it. Embrace your uniqueness. A temporary pause in action is okay. It just gives you opportunity to grow and learn new things. Yeah, Eight of Autumn. Do more research before proceeding on a particular project. This is like paying attention to the details. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanship, a long-term project. So look to the long-term. Some long-term projects, maybe you're going to study something new. Maybe you're teaching someone, right? This is just focus on you. Focus on your work. Put in the effort there and, you know, things will transpire. And then the bottom of the deck, they want me to take the two on the bottom. And kept, they kept staring at me. This is what is coming for you. Stability in the home. Alignment. Stability within your own energies. Four of wands. 11-11 sacred union. Be grateful you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. Yeah. There is an opportunity for this. Something is coming your way. You are manifesting this opportunity with someone that is just meant for you. That you'll grow in maturity together. And stability coming to your home, for sure. And then look, it's a whole new world. Wow. A brilliant success. Again, success. Allow yourself to receive the success, the abundance, the accolades, the acknowledgements. Just, just allow. You deserve it. The freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. Yeah, it's you're completing these lessons, this journey, these challenges, the contrast, and a new path is opening. It's a whole new world. I mean, you can't. Wow. That's so beautiful. So a whole new world is opening up here for you. This is your, a golden opportunity for you to open your eyes and just see the truth about yourself. Allow yourself to shine. Manifest your dreams. You are on path towards your destiny. Towards making your mark on the world. Having it all. Whatever that means to you. Growing so much spiritually. And I feel that the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine are awakening to higher levels of consciousness. Of what this union really means. Being grateful. You could be getting married. Having some kind of sacred ceremony. You know, just enjoying life and just embarking on a new adventure <laughs> spreading your wings like really flying right sorry something on my table here okay let's just get some messages from the fairies for you springtime yeah admit your true feelings to yourself be honest with yourself only you know what it is that you truly desire so trusting yourself. Admit how you're feeling. Heal anything that needs to be healed. Get that higher mind perspective. Focus on the unconditional love and hold your vision. But let go of the who, the what, the when, the where, what time. Just allow it to unfold. Enjoy the process. You're going to find victory there. Reach out to someone. Reach out to me if you feel guided. We can talk about these things. Yeah, emotional healing. 
as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. See, love is coming in when you release and you heal and you open up and you, you know, the eight of cups, you, you let go of the attachments of the emotional attachments of the past. Take the wisdom with you. New blessings of love are coming your way. I mean, wow, a really beautiful emotional time. And look at this, wow, travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. Moving on, moving forward. This can also be higher mind perspective with all that spiritual light, taking the lead, traveling through other dimensions, learning new things, but someone may be traveling to see you. The world is opening up, right? And there's freedom here when you take the lead on your life and it's just, it's beautiful. Wow, so some kind of upcoming trip or some kind of travel forward movement that's uh, life-changing. And look at this, your wish is granted. I mean, come on. What you've asked for is coming true. Wow. So things are shifting. And as you heal, like truly heal, it's like forward movement, this whole new world. I mean, and at the bottom, yeah, express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. You're meant to be a star. There's victory here. Yeah. Strut your stuff. Because you are shining so bright right now. That's incredible. I love it. Okay, now I have my charms. We're just going to pick a few charms because I thought that would be fun for like St. Patrick's Day. Lucky charms. There's a few stones. There. I was trying to do it a little away from I know it's a little loud there. So this is my stone for like a deep connection to Mother Earth, like really getting grounded as I felt when that girl was wearing the black um, sweater and the root chakra energy. Um, I think it was here. So just some, the reference of the card. So finding your balance. And this is your ancestors. They're saying we're here. We're with you because you know, you deserve love. You deserve sacred union. And it's like they're protecting it. So trust in that. And they're with you and helping guide you. And look at that. Never, never give up on your dreams. Never, ever give up on love. Never, ever give up on yourself. And, 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 and experiencing this love. And look. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? A four-leaf clover. And we're talking about St. Patrick's Day and good luck and good fortune. Yes. Some lucky times. Prosperity. And this to me, it represents a teardrop. Like crying your last tear finally releasing the past and like you take the wisdom so this is all you need right you just take that wisdom forward and your ancestors and your loved ones are with you when you're releasing and crying and, and releasing that they're with you just know that i will hold you in my heart until i hold you in heaven so if you have a sacred lover in heaven or a loved one an ancestor that you're thinking of now that's what i'm saying they're holding you they're always holding you Oh, it's so beautiful. I can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And this is a little girl. How cute is that? Nurturing your inner child. It's that little girl. Maybe you're going to have a little girl. There may be a little girl in heaven or a little, like somehow one has a kid or you're meant to have a good baby girl. Look, she's saying, yep, it's true. Oh, this is so cute. Um, Let's see. This decorated elephant, like the elephant, you know, step by step, doing things by the book. Something about tradition, keeping with your morals, values, your traditions, moving forward. Oh, look. See, it's the two swans. It's peace, serenity, love. It's like a heart, the sacred lovers, the masculine and feminine. And it could be a parent and a child. Oh feeling really mushy right now i feel like mushy times and this is a lizard like the desert somebody may live in the desert or you may travel to the desert or through the desert or it feels like you've been traveling through the desert for a really long time and you're finally going to come up and be able to um, see some water that's what i'm hearing it's been dry times but that's changing oh wait we already did that one leveling up spiritually with this crown like remembering that you are the king you are the queen of your life like you're sending 
That's what the Spirit's saying. It's all of this, what you've been learning and stuff is part of your ascension, getting that higher mind perspective. And then the, look at that. The angels are blessing you. Loved ones are with you. There's a special angel like protecting you and your sacred lover. And then look at all this. See, there's a lot of love for you. There's a lot of love and there's a lot of deep connection with this because you get this. There's like three. I just want to show you. There's the swans, the two hearts, and then these two hearts that are as one that all came out. This is like um, uniting mind, body, heart, and soul. Like best of friends, nurturing one another's inner child, uh, being good parents, uh, just a lot of romance and a lot of those types of things is what I'm feeling. But this is definitely a meant to be connection that, that will grow. It'll feel peaceful to you. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world, Marilyn Monroe. So that's like this Queen of Wands energy, right? This victory card energy, like stepping into your power, strutting your stuff, this individuality. Look at that. That's totally that. I love it. I love it. I choose strength. Yeah, we. you always have a choice. You can choose strength and you can choose love. Or you can choose, you know, weakness and hate and fear. I mean, it always is a choice. So choose strength and know that your strength is in love. And it's you versus you. Oh my goodness. Like, so you have the power right now. You're mirroring you. This is admitting your true feelings. It's, it's, you're the only one battling with, your, with yourself is what spirit is saying. So what do you want? Come to an agreement here. Right? With yourself. You are always in my heart. So this is your lover saying, you are always in my heart. I mean, with all this love energy, I mean, there's a lot of love. I'm always connected to you. And I just want to pull out the lovers to end this so you can really focus in on this beautiful energy that no matter what is going on in the physical world, you can close your eyes and you can imagine your sacred lover and pull them close and feel the love. Let this sacred love, this divine love, this pure love fill you, heal you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Trust this. Trust that you deserve this. Trust that you and only you know what's true for you. Look within in your heart and move forward as spirit guides you. I am sending you all so much love and so much light. Reach out to me anytime.